I've read every good and bad review I can from whether it's a fan base thing or a critic thing. Like, I want to know what people think about it because at the end of the day, remember, I'm not trying to create John Wick as just an art thing. I, I'm a fanboy. Like, I, I'm doing it to say thank you to Leone, to Kurosawa, to all the great, you know, from anything from transporters to, you know, to, you know, Lupa Song movie to La Femme Nikita or to Taxi or anything he's done. So, you know, what what the fans say means a lot to me too. And like, you know, they like, if I, if I put in John Wick's cause I love it. And if you guys like sword fights then you're going to love John Wick three, if you like car chase, you, you know, if you like the 70s stuff, you know, bullet, you're going to like John Wick two, you, you know, so you, you try to listen to what they say. And you know, if they love Conan, if they love blood, if they love the sword fights, then I want to know, I want to know. What you're with you're you. listening to what the fans say, but are you ever going to do what you think the fans want, or are you always going to do what you want? <laughs> See, that's, that's, you know, and you can theorize and philosophize about all you want to. You're actually directing and doing your own thing. It's very easy. And again, it's, it's, you know, after the first movie, you're like, oh my God, well, I pulled that one off. Second one, you can when I got a third one, that's when you, because now you're starting to question ideas. Do I bring back this character? Do I duplicate myself? Do I come up with something new? Mm. And you, you do, you get, I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. There's not a day I don't walk Second on stage. yourself. Yeah, and I'm not scared shitless. Like I, I have a plan, and I have to be confident in front of my crew and say this is gonna. But in the back of my mind, I, yeah, I'm shitting myself. I'm like, I don't know. Well, I, I just want to say because I remember before John Wick came out, you'd filmed it, you'd edited it, I think, and we were in South Africa working on the uh, Grimsby movie. Yeah, I saw you down there. You like, yeah, saying, I'm career, I think I'm, I think it's gonna. I think I'm screwed. I may, I may never direct again. Yeah, I, well, I can't. I, did you really believe that? Yeah. Oh no, absolutely. Wholeheartedly. That's why I took the jazz. So I signed out South Africa. I was like, I better get my second <laughs> back. Yeah. But the answer to the question is like, look, I, I don't look at it like that. I don't look at like, well, fans of it. I, you can't think like it's two different entities. I'm just going to go, we write a cool story. I like, if you saw my office, it's nothing but pictures and notebooks and ideas of things I love. I write all these down. I sit with my writing team and we start writing. I, I don't, I don't try to let what expectations are guide me. I'm hopefully thinking the gut instinct I have of, oh, that's cool. Let's put that in the movie. You know, I, I just try to love the same things that everyone else out there loves. And if I make a movie based on what I love, that means it's what they love. And hopefully, you know, it aligns. You have but to I hope that your instincts are, are going to be popular. Exactly. Just yeah. don't go, don't, I don't ever want to go, well, you know, somebody think, I don't want to go down that route. If a certain fan base goes, it'd be great to see this person. And you're like, that's cool. I think that would be fun too. I'm just not feeling it. So I'm going to go with this part. And again, they call it the curse of the sequel. It's like, okay, take, take matrix or John wick or born or anything. So you get this cool character that you really haven't, you've seen assassin a thousand times. You just haven't seen it in a John wick way or a Neo way or a Jason Bourne way. So that's a little different. And the action's a little different. And then it's done with a little bit more attitude or swagger that's a little different. And the choreography, everything's just different enough to make you go, that was cool, I like that, I didn't see that before. But you have seen it before, just not in that way. So now, you've seen John Wick, you've seen Gun Fu, you've seen the longer takes, you're like, oh, okay. Yes. And part of that wow was you hadn't seen that. So yeah. by definition in a sequel, you now want that- seen it, and other people have copied it as well. Yo, I've so many times. I'm going into John Wick 4 and everybody out there, you've all seen Gun Fu. You want it back, but what you really want is Gun Fu, not too different, but different. You want it to know it's Gun Fu, but you want something else you haven't seen. Yeah. You know, you just you don't, don't know what it is yet. Yeah. Right. And you want Keanu to be the badass guy, but you want him a little different. And you just don't want another bad guy. You want a bad guy that's doing something a little different. And that's always the, the trick of it is you want to give them what, you want in a way they didn't see coming. Yeah. And that's always the trick with sequels or reinventions or remakes. And I think that's a challenge on every department's level from writing to the look, to the vibe, to the feel, to the attitude, to the acting, to the action. And that's where you have to go. So if you're always worried about that, about how do I progress? How do I go forward? Where do I take it? How do I do that? That helps answer the question of what do the fans want? What they want is more of the same, only better. And newer and <laughs> like that sounds wacky but yeah. that's where my head's always at like okay how do i do this how do i get out of the safe zone of just doing what i've already done and do something that even i haven't thought of yet and don't get me wrong we're writing for right as we speak literally that's what i'm in the middle of as we're talking and it's 
I'll start going down this route with the writers and be like, oh, that's really cool. And they'll be like, is that even going to work? I mean, can you imagine what the studio says when I pass in a script that says, and John Wick rides a horse and fights guys on motorcycles down Brooklyn? Like, that doesn't go over well. You know, <laughs> like, like, that is either the greatest or the dumbest idea we've ever heard. I'm like, no, trust me, it's going to be great. It's going to be John Wick's suit, horse, it's be true lies only better. Yeah. And I'm bullshitting out of my ass. I have no idea. I'm hoping it looks good. You just have to believe in it that, that you know, you have a good idea. And if it sounds cool to, and I, I don't have a, I have a, a great team around me that if they think it's dumb, they kind of tell me. If they think it's really cool, they kind of tell me. And you just, you know, you can't second guess your gut. Otherwise, it's chasing the tail of the dragon. You're always trying to chase what someone else thinks. And that's the quickest way to lose your true north. You got to go with what you believe and what you feel. That's it. Yeah, stick with that, Chad, because it's done you very well so far. Instinct yeah, spot on, mate. At least for now. Uh, we'll see.